Saturday. 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 I don't know. Okay. It's Saturday here in DC. Nice outside. And so many people has been asking me this, especially a young lady. She looked at my um Thanksgiving video and she sent me a message maybe a week or two ago. Said, Miss C, can you please do your version of a Philly cheese steak? I'm pregnant and looking at your food uh, she makes her want to eat. So this video is for everybody who been asked me because her and a couple of other people asked me to do a Philly cheese steak and I'm doing fries. Guys, so what I have here, I have my shaved beef steak, my onions and green peppers. If my sister was here, it will be mushrooms in there too. She's not here. She likes hers with mushroom. I have my turkey bacon and I have my regular bacon and those are for the fries. And look in the oven, Brandon. Like, I don't got anything yet. I got, I got fries cooking in the oven. I put those on about maybe 15 minutes ago. I always put my fries in the oven. Stuff no one you guys saw me cook on the stove. These are store bought fries. I got my block cheese. The same cheese I use for my macaroni cheese. I put a little bit of milk in it and cut up the cheese and I got it on low. That's gonna be my cheese salt. So this been cooking. The onions and green peppers. I want to get them kind of soft, so I'm going to cook those down first. I'm going to do everything like on a low to medium heat. Let my onions and green peppers cook down. Oh, so you need your um, shaved beef steaks, whatever you're going to use, onions, green peppers, mushrooms. Um, again, this bacon is for my fries, so you guys can see why. And Andrew don't like regular bacon, he likes turkey bacon. And my go-to seasoning, I'm not using everything because I have this. Gives it lots of flavor. So I'm just using onion powder, seasoned salt, and pepper. And I'm just gonna let this simmer and get something to stir it up with or whatever. I got you now, I got you, baby. I got you. I cooked the baked turkey bacon in here. A little bit greasy in there, yeah. So I want to get those. A teaspoon. I use the turkey bacon. We don't get that nice and soft. Guys, this is my cheese sauce. And don't be afraid. Say, oh, she got milk in it. Remember, if you got good cheese, cheese is made with milk. It's not a whole lot of milk. And it's melting down. Have this as low as possible. And in a um, non stick pan, if possible. And just let it. Let it melt down. That's gonna be good. And you know, if you can make this spicy, like putting in some jalapeno peppers and stuff. Oh. Now, um, I don't do it. This is coming the way I want it. So what I'm gonna do, take some of my beef steaks and just go ahead. I don't know who's gonna be the lucky person to get the first one. Those fries, I, again, I told you I put those in about 15 minutes before we start this video i just put a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom of my pan and it's filled up with fries mm -hmm. when they come out i'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on them mm -hmm. i'm not even gonna put my salt on them because of the cheese i'm gonna put some pepper on them i'm um, put the cheese spread on it and this is right here it's gonna be for one steak on this right here actually i'm make enough for two i'm gonna layer it and again, these are shaved beef steaks. I paid about $7. Unfortunately, you can't get this at all of these. They don't have it there. So you have to go to whatever store you um, have in your area. I did get it at Price Right, which is a reasonable store. It's a good, low-budget store. But um, I don't know if you may not have a Price Right. So let me go in with my pepper. Again, I'm not using onion powder. My pepper. I really don't want to use too much salt. You know what I'm going to do? See the salt because of the cheese, you know? So I'm just going with the pepper and the garlic. So don't really use seasoned salt. Go in with the pepper and the garlic powder. And the seasons from your onions. 
and your green peppers is going to work itself out. This is a sardine meal here. There's nothing special at all. Now let's look at this cheese sauce. Yeah, see, it's coming together. Try to use a nonstick pan. You want it nice and creamy with no humps. And again, it's down as low as possible as I could get it without the stove actually cutting off. That's going to be great. Okay. We're going to let the beef stick. Mm, let the beef stick. Let the beef stay cook. And we'll be back. I'm sweating, y'all. But guess what? I got my bread. I had these little half Italian sub rolls here. I got it actually browning it, toasting it in the um, pan I did the steaks in so it could get that flavor. Right here, this is two packs of shaved steak that mm -hmm. I did. And I did my cheese. If your cheese gets stiff, just add a little milk, stir it up, and turn it on. But that's going on top of there. And then right there, Brandon had a fries. Show them the fries. Came out the oven. Took about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, 50 minutes for me to get the texture I wanted. And this going to Jackson, not to Brandon. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I want to get that just a little bit toasted on the, on there. I should have put a little bit of butter on it, mm. but I'm just going to mash it down. So you guys, if you use your same pan that you cook your steak in, you can put a little bit of butter in there. I didn't, because I'm trying to hurry up, looking at the Michael Jackson story. And um, I just want to let everybody thank you guys for um, the contributions to my food truck that's that's coming in thank you so much and the comments and the blessings to those who can't donate but you know the prayers that you guys send out to me of course the aprons are still available on my shopify um for the um what's i'm talking about the food truck right mm. hey, the brain is short turbo mind away so i don't know how many times i gotta tell y'all that um for the food truck you guys i don't care if you donate a dollar 50 cents. If they like to get 50 cents, I don't care about 50 cents. <laughs> all the information is down there and everything. And you know, I read all you guys' comments as many as I can and I reply and like as many as I can. Even the negative ones because they build me up and make me stronger. Deserve. Right. So keep commenting. I'll keep reading, keep sharing, keep liking, and everything. Here we go. Okay, see, it's getting toast. Not quite the way I want it. My pan is kind of burnt, but that's okay. <laughs> We're going to toast a couple more like that, and I'll let that thing soak. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. The book's still available on Amazon.com. Amazon, is Amazon? Like, yeah, Amazon Cooking with Soul for Tea. And we're going to put this together for you guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, so that bread got toasted. Add the mayonnaise. Oh, I'm too short. Green peppers and onions. And this is how we're going to go in with the cheese. I don't want everybody constipated. So, <laughs> this is going to go on the french fries as well. Mm. And this is just our Saturday night here. My Philly cheese steak, my way. My fries, my way. And with a couple of treats. I'm going to crumble up some bacon and put it on here for the kids, you know. That's a good heart attack. A good heart attack. Then somebody said it's a heart attack, but guess what? Um, It's Saturday. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute for food. Get the Kool-Aid. We can't do nothing. It's Saturday. Give me my props. So, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon did his props, guys. <laughs> Brandon made the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Come here. Um, I can't help. Let me see. Please don't Look. Me. It been sitting in the freezer. Orange Kool-Aid <laughs> with this meal. Guys, any kind of Kool-Aid you want, they want orange. Son, this thing heavy. Take it. <laughs> it got a penguin though. Oh, it got a penguin. Oh, okay. So, guys, my Philly steak cheese. My Philly cheese steak, the way we make it here in my home on a Saturday. Green peppers, onions, and melted cheese. No, food for bread. <laughs> 
Boo Boo grabbing the cat. So you trying not let nobody <laughs> knocking things over. Top with some cheese fries and crumbled bacon. And you're going to have turkey bacon on his. Guys, this video will be out on Tuesday. Like it, share, and subscribe. And again, I'm almost up to 60,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I'm almost under 60,000 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. I'm hot. I gotta go. Bye. See how it's getting thick? That that cooking, y'all come back. Look what we've done for this time, Miss Rebecca Jones. So, I did tell you guys, you know, the thickness will come with your little flour from off the, um, I was like, off the noodles. <laughs> with your little flour off the dumplings, but it didn't do